Good morning. So I um, was doing a, or I am doing a dry shampoo review. And so I have like a lineup of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shampoos that I got from Walmart. Some of them were highly recommended. Others I had kind of seen a dry shampoo video. And um, so I kind of got some ideas from that. But anyways, yesterday was the heritage like that one. So today I decided to do the Pantene. And so yesterday I did take a shower, but I ended up not washing my hair because this did such a good job that my hair was looking and feeling just as clean as it would have had I, excuse me, <coughs> had I um, washed my hair. So I was like, mm. um, so after I worked out, I showered and I was like, yeah, my hair looks fine. So today I tried the Pantene. When I woke up, my hair was oily. It looked pretty like awful. Um, and so this is like messy and you have to blow dry your hair. So I don't know about the convenience of it. Um, it's not fast, obviously with like a spray, you just rub it in, pull up your hair, good to go. And I don't know, like, do you guys, when you do a dry shampoo, do you let your hair down? Leave your hair down? I always pull it up because I feel like it feels gritty and yucky and kind of moldable almost in a way. So anyways, so I did the Pantene. It's this weird looking little nozzle, right? And you have to do it down. So it's kind of awkward at sometimes. And like where I get oily the most is like right behind my ears, kind of like right here. And then in the back of my hair. So I was like getting in there. Um, and I did it once and I felt like, gosh, it still doesn't feel like it did that good of a job. So then I really went to town with it and just, <laughs> I have dry throat. I just woke up. Right. We're going to school. I'm just doing a school drop off. So it's not important how I look and I'm going to work out when I get home. So anyways, and I was planning on wearing a hat, right? So I did this, my hair was pretty much wet on the scalp pretty well and kind of, it's not sticky. I don't know how to describe it. There's 0% alcohol, sulfates or parabens. That alcohol thing got me. So there's tapioca in here that's going and start. <coughs> I do not have COVID. So that is what is drying your hair instead of the alcohol so it, it feels soft but it feels kind of gross so anyways it looks okay i need to get my hair colored it's gray <coughs> i have a tickle um so i felt like it was actually okay it looks a little less shiny in the mirror right now and so i was like well i'll just pull up my hair and it actually gave me some grit normally i can't do like a poof with my hair because I have such heavy hair. I have tons and tons of hair. It's really thin, but I have tons of it. So it's so heavy. So it gave enough grit that I could like almost style a ponytail. So I think if I had done a little bit more of a thorough job, like I said, I'm just going to the school pickup. Had I done a more thorough job, maybe taken my time and done a better job. Some people put, the guy that I watched do this, it was a different brand of foam. He put it in his hand and then he put it in the uh, model's hair and then brushed it out and stuff. Maybe had I done that and separated the sections a little bit better and then blow dried it. It might not even not be all the way blow dried, honestly. Um, but I mean, depending on, I have some sensory issues. I don't like feeling, I don't know how to say, it doesn't feel oily. It just feels moldable and soft. I don't know how to describe that. It doesn't feel dry because there's no alcohol. So this was probably on the cheap side. I probably paid four to four or five dollars for it. It's foam. You have to dry your hair. Um, it's safe as far as I'm concerned. It's um, waterless, sulfate free, paraben free, alcohol free. That's my review. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll probably try to use it again sometime. Um, I was really excited about the foam. The guy didn't uh, blow dry his hair in the video. So I was kind of like sad when I had to blow dry my hair. So time wise, this is not the way to go. So, so far comparatively, <coughs> this is winning. I got to go get my coffee and some water. Bye guys.